Hi fellow YouTubers and collectors, just wanted to show you the last statue that I got in my collection and it is the new uh, um, line that um, DC collectibles are putting out um, the Superman Man of Steel line which is basically sort of a companion um, uh, line to the Batman black and white but of course these are in colour and they have a sort of metallic paint to them playing off the Man of Steel uh, wording and this one is by Frank Whiteley uh, I think this one's from the cover at least to the um, absolute all-star Superman don't know if it's to any of the other All-Star Superman covers, but I know it's from that one. Uh, there's no um, artwork on this one. Uh, at the side you can see the statue at the bottom based on the artwork of Frank Whiteley and sculpted by Paul Harding. And uh, the Man of Steel flies out of the... Um, Pages of All Star Superman with this remarkable statue based on the art of comic superstar Frank Whiteley. There you have two at the bottom coming soon, or they might be out already. I don't know. Got no interest in these ones. Uh, Superman by Rags Morales and uh, Superman by Kenneth Rockefeller. Although that's more Superboy. Uh, same crappy box as always. Another picture there, and the awful Turner page thing there, and the Superman shield, and the Jim Lee artwork at the bottom, celebrating 75 years of Superman. Shout out to Carlos, he's Superman's his boy, and we go to the actual start. Um, the actual statue and you can definitely see that this is uh, Frank Quietly's sorry so out of focus Frank Quietly's Superman definitely is art which I'm lucky to own some but it's definitely his baby here uh, I wouldn't get many in this line at all not many artists that I would collect um, a Superman from. There, there are some, some like Dar Darwin Cooks, maybe um, Tim Sale, um, a Max Fleischer Superman based on the Fleischer cartoons, uh, maybe a Kingdom Come Superman by Alex Ross, uh, uh, a Red Sun Superman maybe. But not many compared to the, um, they, they just don't have the same impact as the um, Batman Black and White series. But yeah, getting back to the statue, uh, the cape's really nicely done. Flows really nicely. And the um, S, uh, the paintwork, it doesn't um, overflow into the um, cape or anything, the yellow paintwork. Uh, underpants are nice, the uh, S shield symbol is nice and I am very lucky that uh, I got this one signed by Frank Whiteley nice signature there so um, this one can go very nicely with my um, death statue now uh, he's sort of doing a royal wave there or something that seems like but yeah I'm really pleased with this one uh, as for the base it's very simple it reminds me of the um, sort of metallic wide vision Superman cards that were done when trading cards were popular just the nest shield and they've gone back to numbering again. Uh, 430 out of 5200. 
very bland on the bottom but yes uh, I've got this at Red Hot Comics so thank you very much either in Glasgow I really like how they have done the um, costume there uh, like the sewing it's on both sides I think that's a really nice touch still got some of the foam there but yeah it is 100% um, Frank Whiteley this I'll um, put up the original artwork either at the beginning of this review or um, as the thumbnail so you can see for yourself uh, not much else I can show you really. I think the cape's beautiful. I'll put him back on there. Uh, no problems inserting it into um, the uh, base either. Sometimes these pegs can be a right bitch, especially the Batman black and white ones. But I think he looks great. I passed on the um, All-Star Superman maquette, it just didn't have the uh, wow factor, I'm, I'm a massive Frank Whiteley fan, uh, if there's a comic coming out that just has his um, cover on it, uh, I'll get it, I can actually um, show you an example if you just hold on a second. Uh, uh. Right here, um, I got this cover of Django Unchained just because um, I got this comic. Oh, the pages are turned. Just uh, because uh, he did the um, cover, the artwork is absolutely horrific. Although I didn't know at the time, so I certainly won't be getting the hardcover for the remaining issues. And a uh, beautiful cover there by Jock for Jupiter's Legacy. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, I collect all this stuff. Uh, so, uh, sorry, I got cut off there. I would really like to hear your opinions on um, what you think of this new line, our DC collectibles. Um, doing good with all their new lines like the bombshells and the new um, cover girls uh, I'm not interested in them uh, but uh, they've just um, shown pictures of the new Batman black and white Harley Quinn by Bruce Tim, and that is an absolute must for me anyway peace to all take care bye